grace, power, ministry, and love. Incline your ears to wisdom and your hearts to understanding. Receive the word of God according to knowledge. Welcome to preach, to preach, to preach. Be a voice, not an echo. Join Minister Chantrell for today's message. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. I'm Ambassador Chantrell Davis, Ambassador of the Word of Reconciliation, and today is April the 18th, 2017. It is 11.05 a.m. Central Time, and today uh, I just delivered a message. I'm going to share some dreams. You're going to see more than one of these because I need to get all of them out because they have been coming back to back, and I'm just going to... Uh, uh, I will give revelation only as the Lord gives me, but I'm appointed to share them. And to the best of my ability, always share as much detail in everything that I remember. Because what I've learned is everything means something. And so being descriptive as you can is so important. And I think where people err sometimes is they always try to immediately interpret. And that's not what the Lord would have you do. You need to share it. It's going to make sense later. But there's certain things that he puts urgency on me to share now. There's some dreams that I've had for years. And back, I got pages of them. And he's had me go back to some that I had years ago and deliver them now because now the season was approaching for them to come to pass. And um, well with it, well before time, but it needed to be shared. And so the first stream I'm going to share, like I said, they're going to be separate videos. I'm going to stop and and then I'll do another video um, and another because they have to be separate. Um, and like I said, it just comes down to obedience. And I may read it verbatim because some of them I start to just remember as I tell them. But I just don't like to leave any of the detail out because I know the Lord can be symbolic and he revelates through the Holy Spirit only. I mean, I could be speaking about it to someone or writing and he would start to give me revelation of what it meant while I'm typing it out. But that's not always so. Because it's not always time because you're going to only remember what he tells you to what he allows you to remember just no different when he told uh, Daniel to shut the book up somebody else would have it in the end or he may have you to do it. Uh, the Lord is the Lord and he'll do what do what he will. And so I'm going to share this particular dream and I titled it to describe it the best way I can because sometimes it's just so much you don't even really know how to title it. <laughs> sometimes I just don't know. Uh, so you have to bear with me. The first dream. I had April uh, the 1st of 2017. It was an early a.m. And I entitled it Judgment Pronounced, Days Shortened, Premature Deaths. And I can assure you there, there are going to be some people dying. And you've heard me say this in other videos because I've been warning people to keep their mouth off people, to quit doing foul, to quit know you going the wrong way and keep going, and especially keep your mouth off of people. In this particular dream, I'm going to read it verbatim. In this vision, I want to say that the name of the persons I was shown, I won't say the name of the persons I was shown, um, uh, because they, they were literal, literal and they were symbolic, and I know this, because he would show family or brothers and sisters sometimes, because it is symbolic uh, of people who say they're in the body of Christ. I say those false brethren unawares that have come up on us are those who have erred so far, and they, they, they've walked away. They've literally left Christ. Um, so, uh, the Lord will give me revelation on this as he sees fit. And okay. And this, I was moved about in the spirit into other people's homes. Many were talking about others. I saw this. Many were, had their mouth on other people. It was just, just stuff that they had nothing to do with them. They was just talking about people. And I was moved to this particular woman's house who had a woman there. She had a woman there with her, um, with her and, and where her face was, I didn't I didn't know who this woman's face was. I, I saw her, but I didn't know who she was. Um, but she was talking to this other person, um, and this other person was talking about somebody. And in this particular dream, um, and I have to say this again, I was moved to this particular woman's house who had a woman there who I didn't know. I was put in the place of whomever they were speaking of because of who it was. I perceive it was me. I perceive it was me. That's something the Lord gave me as I began uh, to type this out, that, that that woman, I saw me in the place of it because particularly they were talking about me, but at the same time, it's symbolic of what's happening to others. So even though it's happening to me, it is happening to others. So I was put in a place to show it was me and symbolic of what is happening as a whole in the body of Christ, so to speak. Um, so as the woman I saw, I passed by, I am being shown this while I'm observing. As always, I tell you, I will be put in the place and I will observe at the same time. Only the Lord can do that. Because I'm looking on, 
I can see me sometime being put in a place when he does that. And I'm still looking on at the same time. Why he's standing next to me, why the angel's standing next to me. It's simultaneously. And this is what was going on. Once I passed in the dream, once I passed by this woman, she leaned into the other woman. And I know it's the reason she said that he didn't start to revelate that to me later. She said, look at her shoes, her feet. Now, we know she's probably not literally talking about shoes and feet, the walk of Christ. And as I was listening to this, the walk, how beautiful are the feet that those that carry the gospel. Why did she keep saying her shoes? Look at her feet. Look at her shoes. Look at her feet. And the other lady was just nodding and listening. As I was looking on and it had deeper meaning because the Lord, the spirit revealed that to me as I was typing it out. The shoes and feet, the walk of me as a Christian or whomever else. How beautiful are the feet of those who carry the gospel. They were talking about me. So if you're talking about somebody to carry the gospel at all, you're talking about their feet. And the Lord said those feet are beautiful and keep your mouth off those feet. Okay, what they look like in the flesh. <laughs> those spiritual feet are beautiful. <laughs> Care what they look like. You may have hooves. I don't, I don't know. But they, if you carry the gospel, they're beautiful in the Lord's eyes. And so no sooner than those words came out of that woman's mouth to that other woman. At this time, I still can see them. And I still know I had passed and they talked about me. And it was at that point the spirit rose up in me because the very angel that seemed to be next to me, that was next to me, all of a sudden, when she said those things about my feet and my walk, look at her feet, look at her shoes. The spirit in me came up and I turned and it was as if I was the Holy Spirit. And I would not hesitate to say that because the Lord took me to some scripture to show me why I saw it the way I saw it. And that the moment she said that all of a sudden the pronouncing, pronouncing judgment was me, but it was by the spirit. Oh, y'all better understand. It's going to be some judgments pronounced over people that the Holy Spirit know what's going on and you don't even know. And you're going to pray and declare things in your heavenly language and it will be pronounced. It will be pronounced. I don't think that's what it is because he revelated to me that that's what that was, which is why I saw me doing it. But I knew it was the spirit simultaneously, if that makes sense. I knew it was the spirit rising up in me. And it was at that point, the moment that she said that my voice became thunderous. It was not my typical voice. And I turned and immediately, I can't recall the words verbatim, but I was telling her uh, the things she was speaking were contrary. And because she has done these things, I said, behold, and I don't remember everything I said before that. I said, behold, because thou have done these things. No, I said, behold, so behold, thus says the Lord God, because thou have done these things, your days are shortened. And I mean, it was far when I said that and it came forth out of my spirit and I turned quickly and my finger was pointing down at her. And I said, behold, thus says the Lord God, because you have done these things, your days are shortened. And the person didn't repent. The person was nonchalant and kind of passive, just like, oh, well, the woman who she had spoke it to, I then turned and I say, I, because it was the Holy Spirit, then turned to her and pointed. And says, see that thou do it not. And she had great fear. She was alarmed and she was full of fear. And she took heed because of what she saw happen to the other woman. Even though the Lord didn't show me what happened. He told me her days were shortened and I perceived she died. Because that's what he put in. And anyone who had these visions know what I'm talking about. He's revelating to you why you're looking. And there's a knowing. I can't say it no other way. Just like anything else he gives me that I perceive when people are speaking or they post for a particular reason. And he, I know why they really did it. Whether they did it to be seen, whether they did it to take a dig at somebody else. I know it. And that's just the bottom line. And at the moment I turned to her and I said, but see that thou doest not. And she was great for and she was, she was very humble. She was terrified. And she repented of even having listened. And I, at that point I opened my eyes. And I'm going to read Psalms 20, 21 and 11. I see 1 and 11 a lot, but 21 and 11, because this is what he gave me immediately. For they, for they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device, which they are not able to perform. He told me, though they may war against you, they will not prevail. They're going to devise things, but they won't be able to perform what they devised against me. And I perceive this is for other people too, and which is why I'm delivering this message. Psalms 31 and 18. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Ecclesiastes 7.17 Be not overmuch wicked, 
neither be thou foolish. Neither be thou foolish. He said, be not over much wicked. This is being over wickedness. Neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? This is telling you you can die before your time. And I'm telling you this is the seed in the Sapon. And it's going to be pronounced over other people. And it's going to be pronounced by the very people they're talking about. But it's going to be by the Spirit. It will be the Holy Spirit that came forth and pronounced it. He said, why would you die before your time? I'm reading that to amplify it. Do not be excessively, excessively or willingly wicked. Because we talk about people that's willingly wicked. And do not be a fool. Why should you die before your time? Because it will cause you to die before your time. And that season is here. Y'all better take heed. It's her. That's the bottom line. Proverbs 10, 27 amplified. The, the, rever reverent, the reverent fear of the Lord, worshiping, obeying, serving, and trusting him. With awe, filled with respect, prolongs one's life. But the year of the wicked will be shortened. Do y'all hear that? Talking about people is wicked. And I'm telling you what he showed me. People are going to die prematurely because they refuse to stop talking about people. Anything about them. Anything. Literally. Stop it. Days are about to be short. People are going to die before they were supposed to. Even those who are in the kingdom. Y'all understand me? Even those who say they're in the body of Christ that won't stop, you're going to die before your time. He's not a respecter of person. He means this. Oh, Y'all better take heed. This is urgent. And I'm getting out of my spirit right now. It's urgent. Keep your mouth off of other people. The last verse. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living. And not be written with righteousness. The book of the living means the people who are alive on this earth. That's the book of the living. The book of life is the one that's eternal where you're in heaven. Book of the living means people who are on earth alive in spirits with souls and spirits right now. And the Lord let me know this thing is going to happen. It has already begun. It has already begun. And people are going to be praying in the spirit. Because I told you when I pray in the spirit, I know when I'm supplicating. I know when I'm making a petition. And I know when I'm turned down some stuff because the spirit is far. But you don't know what you're saying. But the Lord put this in me to know that there will be judgment pronounced over people in the spirit realm. And some days are going to be shortened. Shut your mouth up against the beloved. Shut your mouth up against anybody. To deliver the word of God and to deliver a message to somebody to repent is one thing. Talking about people in any form is another. And the Lord says, stop it. He says, whoa, because I'm not telling you that it's going to begin. I'm telling you that it has. Take this dream before the Lord. This will be posted in the blog as usual with the scripture so you can read it. He took me directly to the scripture to show that premature death is caused by this. And I'm telling you that not only did his written word say that premature death is caused by this, I'm telling you that the rhema word of what he's given me, telling me it has begun. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned because I have another video that I'm doing right behind this one. And you don't want to miss that either. I got two more dreams to do after this. Again. Um, take this dream before the Lord, pray and ask the Lord to set a guard over your mouth. Keep your mouth closed. Say nothing rather than open that mouth because it is serious. Now it has been serious and the Lord is not playing. It's too short. Seasons have come into play and your mouth declare curses against people that won't prevail. They can only be returned up on you. That's scriptural too. Thank you again for joining me. Share this dream. Please share this dream. Um, and stay tuned for the messages that are to follow. God bless you and grace be with you all abundantly. Thank you for joining us today on Preach. Be a voice, not an echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.